it's important for patients to continue living a healthy lifestyle. This means sleeping well, getting a good night's sleep, resting if they need to during the day, daily exercise, eating a good, healthy, balanced diet with adequate calories, and of course, doing their airway clearance on a daily basis. Airway clearance or keeping the mucus or sputum moving through the airways and out of the lungs is very important in NTM lung disease because it helps patients breathe easier and feel less congested. These are all important aspects of a healthy lifestyle for patients with NTM lung disease, even during times of remission. It's also important for patients to reduce their exposure to NTM bacteria. Because of their underlying lung disease, they're especially at risk of acquiring these bacteria as infections when they're exposed. So activities like gardening and water exposure these activities expose the patients to higher levels of the bacteria. Wearing a mask when patients are gardening is important. It may help reduce their exposure to these bacteria. Avoiding anything with hot steam where there are very high concentrations of the bacteria will be important for minimizing exposure. NTM lung disease is treated with a combination of three prescription medications, and these medications are used when the patient has a collection of the right symptoms and the lab tests that suggest that they will benefit from these medications. These medications are antibiotics, all different forms, but they all are taken by mouth. I have had some patients on these antibiotics for as long as two years, but every situation is different. Ideally, a combination of medicines will work for patients with NTM lung disease, but there are other options available. I would encourage patients to discuss different options with their doctor. Surgery may be an option for patients who are not responding to their medical regimen, these patients should have localized disease or disease that's limited to a defined area of the lung. You and your doctor can discuss whether surgery is an appropriate option for you. In some cases, NTM lung disease can be cured, meaning that there are no signs of NTM disease in the body. The cure may not be permanent because the original strain of organism can persist and make the patient sick again or the patient can acquire a new strain of the organism and become ill again from this new strain of non-tuberculous mycobacteria. It's not unusual for patients with underlying lung disease to experience a recurrence of infection that would require another course of a combination of antibiotics. Bronk and NTM 360 Social. This is an online community that's dedicated to people impacted by bronchiectasis and NTM lung disease. Individuals can visit the website to connect with this community and learn more about bronchiectasis and NTM lung disease. Additional information is also available on www.aboutntm.com.